Hello everyone, what do you do when you have a dead laptop? Well today I will be showing you the steps you need to take to troubleshoot a dead laptop. The thing you should remember is when I say dead, I mean the screen is blank, no light comes on and the CPU fan not moving. So in my case I have with me a laptop when I press the power button, the laptop does not turn on and the screen is blank. A problem like this would mean that we might have a faulty power adapter, a faulty DC jack, a faulty power button, a faulty battery or a faulty motherboard. So we are going to find out exactly which part of the laptop is causing this issue. So let's start. So here I'm just demonstrating what the problem is with my laptop. When I press the power button, no light comes on and the screen is blank. So next I will try to plug in the power adapter just to make sure that the battery was not flat. So yeah, it's plugged in and when I press the power button Still it does the same thing, no light comes on and the screen is blank. Ok let's check what's the voltage on this power adapter. Sorry the text is so small, I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Okay, it's 19.5 volt. Most laptops have 19 volt, but this one is 19.5 volt. So we should get a similar reading once we measure the voltage. If you didn't get a similar reading, then that means the power adapter is faulty. To measure the voltage of a power adapter, we need a multimeter. And if you're using a different multimeter than mine, please read the user manual on how to measure the voltage. So as you can see my power adapter is perfectly fine, it, the measurement is close to 19.5. So next I'll be testing the DC jack. The DC jack is the port where we connect the power adapter. In order for the DC jack to be functioning correctly, we need to look at two things. One, when the power adapter is plugged in, as you can see the light should be on. And the other one, make sure that the DC jack is not loose. So my DC jack is perfectly fine. You saw the light was on when the power adapter was plugged in. So next I'm gonna check the power button. The next step is to check the actual power button. For this, we need to open few parts on this laptop in order to access the power button. So I'll just fast forward the video. Since we have removed the parts and we have access to the power button and its ribbon, uh, we need to test this part. 
so now the question is uh, what do I do I do not have this exact part with me how do I test it well it's easy all you need to do is take the power button from another laptop and test this laptop okay I'll be using this power button which is from another HP laptop as you can see the ribbon is slightly bigger but it should be fine Since the ribbon cable is bigger, just contact it to the motherboard and press the button. And if our power button is faulty, it should work. Wow, it worked. So I find the problem with my laptop, which is the power button. Now I need to order another one. Once I get the part, I will show you how to replace the power button on this laptop. And I will put a link in the description below. So now I'm going to reassemble the laptop. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch more, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.